and Rams. Cleveland again back with another commentary. Um, I don't even know where I can start. <laughs> to be honest with you. I don't know where to even begin. With this with this election. And this is gonna be a commentary series. So let me start with the head. Donald Trump. Like everybody in this country, I did not understand. It was last week was insane. Last week. Was insane. I thought everybody had their mail in ballots on time. I thought people already, people who, who, who handled, who you know, count the votes of already already counted the votes. So I I, I gotta give a shout out to Arizona to those of you Rams out there that watch my commentaries in Arizona, y'all surprised me. Cause I thought y'all was going to be red. But you surprised me. Florida. Trebek. I have nothing nice to say to you, Florida. To your Rams out there, to you Rams that watch my commentaries. Sorry, your home state. I feel sorry for y'all. Trump is refusing to take this loss. Many of you know, I, I do not like Trump. Don't like him as president. Never did. Never will. But it, it is stupid that a 70 plus year old man, but I believe 74. If I'm right, those of you put it in the description, please correct me. 
it is a shame that a man his age is acting the way he is. He's acting worse than a five-year-old. I cannot accept the fact that he or she has to share his toys, his or her toys, with other other boys and girls. That's bad knowledge to use in, in 2020, but I'm going to just roll with it. You claim you won Michigan, but the next day, Michigan turned blue. Because Detroit doesn't like you. You claim you won Pennsylvania. I believe. You lost Pennsylvania. <sighs> you trying to sue people. You thinking that this was going to be an easy win. When you did all you can to try to get rid of mailboxes and say, don't use the mail-in ballot. When for years, people have used absentee ballots. That's been going on for years. And you would not have you would not be whining and crying if it was you that was winning. Trump is like a little kid losing when he lo when a little kid loses playing video games, playing 2K. Or a Madden, on an Xbox or a PlayStation, and he resets the game. Take this loss, face it like a man, and move on. It is funny he did. He said this four years ago to Hillary. And if he keeps this up, nobody's going to support him. The Republican Party is starting to distance themselves from him. And they should. And for those Republicans that have, that have stood by him, you're dumb too. They were up in Detroit. Those Trump supporters were up in downtown, in downtown Detroit, saying, stop the count, stop the count. I'm surprised nobody, I'm surprised Detroit police didn't throw tear gas. To be honest with you. But hey, it is what it is. So, on January 20th, 2021, if the Lord allows us to stay, just give your final, move, move all your stuff out of the White House. Go back to Florida and live the rest of your life. Take a loss, man up, move on with your life. It's simple. 
Carter did it. Bush Sr. did it. Why can't you? Oh, it's because you are a sore loser. That's your problem. Learn to take an L. In a hurry. Stop trying to do this. Stop trying to sue these states like Pennsylvania. And oh, you got that piece of trash, Daniel Cameron, the sellout. Backing you up. That's like an old house Negro trying to save Massa. Yeah, I said it. Just need to stop. Accept this loss and move on. Listen, we all took L's in life. You Rams, you Rams that have been with me for the past, what, almost six years? You know I took some L's. You, you know about us because some of you Rams have took L's. We all take L's. Move on with your life. In the words of the late Dr. Evans, amen, Walls. Move on. That's my commentary. See you on the next one.